Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Anissa Bintismani. Hi, so my name is Nurul Anissa Bintimuli. Hi everyone, my name is Nur Amirah Husna Binti Mama Sofian. What is integral by parts? So let's take a look at example. You have to integrate something that looks like this. How do you do it? We have two products multiplied together. So what do we do? You should try substitution. But if all our usual tricks won't work, we need something new. This is the integration by part formula. What is that? All it does is takes your integral and rewrite it using a new different integral. And hopefully the new integral is easier to do. Something we can integrate. First, you have to choose what u and what dv yourself. And carefully in order for it to work. So, choosing U and DV can be the most confusing part, the hardest part, I think. So, I'm going to show you a trick in a minute. The LIAT, L-I-A-T-E acronym trick. It's an acronym to help you to pick U. So, you will be the first thing you find in this list of letters. And DV will be the next thing you find. L stand for log. So that could be natural log L and X or normal log L or G. I for inverse trigonal function like arc sin X or cos sin inverse of X. A stands for algebraic or polynomials. Powers of X, X squared X or X cubed. T for trigonal functions like straight up sine or cosine. E stands for exponentials like e to the x. So the trick is to follow these letters in sequence. The first one you find that you have is your u. So what do we have? We have x and e to the x x is algebraic, e to the x is exponential. So we have a and e. If you follow these letters in sequence, the first one you encounter that we have is a, algebraic. So x has to be our u. u is x and the next thing we find that we have is e, exponentials. So that's our dv dv is e to the x so that's the trick and this is important whichever one you pick for dv also gets the dx because we need that differential there so this is great we have our u and our dv now we can plug it all into the integration by parts formula but first, we do need to find two more things quickly. We have to find du and we have to know v. Okay, so we are going to differentiate u and we are going to integrate dv. So we are going to get du by taking the derivative of u. And we are going to get v by integrating dv. So, if you take the derivative here, we get du by taking the derivative of x. Derivative of x is just 1. And anytime you are getting a du or a dv, don't forget the differential at the end, the dx. You need that, so don't forget that. And then, if we integrate to get v, integrating e to the x is just e to the x. So, v is e to the x. So, now we have everything we need for the integration by parts formula. So, we can plug in to the formula. Okay, 
So now we are going to use this formula on our integral x. e to the x dx, x is u. e to the x dx is dv. And the first part of the formula is u times v, which for us is x times e to the x. Minus the integral v times du. So, we have used the formula. I know this looks like it got more complicated, but it's going to work out. And we are almost done because this integral is something that we know how to do. This is an integration rule. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. So this is what we have when we integrate that. And at the very end, don't forget to add a plus c. This is an indefinite integral that has no limits here. So you do need to add in the constant of integration at the end. Don't forget the plus c. So this is our answer for this integral. So, integration by parts make this solvable, make it integrable like magic, and if you want, you can check this answer. You can take what you got, differentiate it, and you should get back the original integral x, e to the x. So, in summary, all you need to do is pick u and dv, find du and v from them, then use the formula. If you pick the wrong u and dv the first time, don't panic. It's okay if it doesn't work out. If it turns out that your choice doesn't actually break it down and help you integrate, you can try something else. No harm, no fault. I have done it. Part of getting good at something is bumping up against what doesn't work. So the more practice you get with it, the more skill you will get at picking you and DV. And that's about it. If you have an indefinite integral and you are doing this, don't forget the plus c. So I hope that helps you understand integration by parts. Thank you. Video about difference between indefinite integral and definite integral. Okay, so let's just give an example. So, integral of 3x squared with respect to x. So, just remember the symbol. This big S symbol is integral symbol. Actually, stand for integral are about adding chain together. And this x is tell you that you could integrate this variable. So, just the same as in dy dx. So, we got... Three x three. This three is we add one to this two, so we got three, and this one we divide by three. Then one more thing to remember is we must add c. Okay, obviously that simplifies if become x to the three plus c. So why do we have C here is because we don't know what that number was before it was differentiated. So remember this is the opposite process. Okay, so uh, now a good way to check that we have done this properly is to do just that differentiate. So what if we do have... So here we got y x power of 3 dy over dx equal to 3 x squared. So how it become 2 squared? Because we take away 1 from this power, so it's become 2. So how about c? Here, uh, here well, it's a constant. When you differentiate it, it turns into 0. So we end up with 3 x squared. It was, uh, we had at the beginning. 
So here is the finished integral. Alright, so we're still looking at the same thing before, but uh, this time we're going to go for the definite integral. So let me write you out with definite integral so you can see what one is. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So integral 3x squared as before with respect to x. x is the variable here but this is the different now. So I've got a uh, two number here at the top and bottom of the integral sign. 3 and 2. So those are called the limit of integration. Okay, so uh, this is the upper limit and this is the lower limit. Okay, this time we got this limit. So at first we put them outside of the square bracket. We know what happened. Uh, it's become x cubed. So we add 1 to this 2, so it becomes 3. Uh, but now we don't have 2 plus c anymore. That's it. It's finished here. It no plus c. But instead, there are two limit of integration. So you add 1 to the power to get 3. Then divide by 3. So this is 3. Disappear. Remember, definite integral, you don't have 2 plus c. Okay, what we do, we take this limit and put it into x. So, here we go. So, we put it to x here and we subtract that. So, here we got. Okay, now we just need to evaluate it. 27, 3 cube is 27, and 2 cube is 8. So, so we got 19. 19 is definite integration. Okay, so this is the answer of indefinite integral. So, given the question is x and ln ax dx n equal to 2 or even smaller than 2. We need to expand the equation first. Integral xn ln a dx multiply with integral x and ln x dx. This equation have two function in one equation. So we need to settle this equation first using IBP method. So we have to decide this equation which one is du, u, dv and v. u is ln x du is 1 per x dx v and dv dv is x and dx and v is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 the ibp method of formula is integral u dv equal to uv minus integral of v du Next is, we have to substitute all the value depending the IBP formula. U is equal to ln x. V is equal to x the power n plus 1 divided n plus 1 and minus. V equal to x the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And du is 
1 for x dx. We bring the 1 per n plus 1 in front and let the x variable together. And also we bring the n variable in front and let the x variable together. We bring the equation down 1 per n plus 1 ln x x to the power n plus 1. We cancel out the power of x and minus 1 per n plus 1 integral of x to the power of n dx. We can just bring down the equation minus and integrate the equation and make sure to plus c. And now we are going to settle the integral of x n ln e x dx. The answer is ln e x the power n plus 1 divide by n plus 1. And just bring the equation of x n ln x dx down. We just need to bring all the equation down ln x x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 and minus x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 power of 2. n is actually the unknown. And let's say if I choose n is equal to 1. And make sure to substitute all the value of n with the number of 1. The equation will be ln a x 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus ln x x the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. Minus x to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 to the power of 2 plus c. The denominator of these two equations is same. So we can just combine the equation together. So ln a x power of 2 plus ln x x power of 2 divided by 2 minus x power of 2 divided by 4 plus c. So, as you can see, this is the value of the integral by part. So, we can just simplify the answers. Equal to x to the power of 2 ln ax divided by 2 minus x to the power of 2 divided by 4 plus c. Let's say if I choose the difference value of n, which is n equal to 2. So, we can just use the equation as before, which is ln a x, the power of n plus 1, divided by n plus 1, and bring down the equation. ln x, x to the power of n plus 1, divided by n plus 1, and minus x to the power of n plus 1, divided by n plus 1, the power of 2, plus c. Make sure not to forget to replace all the value of n with the number of 2. So, ln a, x to the power of 2 plus 1, divide by 2 plus 1, plus ln x, x to the power of 2 plus 1, divide by 2 plus 1, minus x to the power of 2 plus 1, divide by 2 plus 1, power of 2 plus. Since these two equations have the same denominator, so we can just combine these two equations together. So, ln a, x, to the power of 3 plus ln x, x to the power of 3. 
minus x to the power of 3 divided by 9 plus 3. So, we can just simplify equation, which is x to the power of 3 ln in bracket ax divided by 3 minus x to the power of 3 divided by 9 plus c. In this question, we ask to integrate x cubed e to the x square with respect to x. Now, I know that I'm going to have to use integration by parts. Now, looking at this question, it's not actually immediately obvious how to actually tackle it. And it's only true share experience of dealing with lots of integral that you make now you have to make a sub situation and again the sub situation and it's not all the obvious the formula of integral by parts is integral u dv is equal uv minus integral v du now, the sub-situation I'm going to make is to say let A equal x square and then going to differentiate the so dA over dx equal to x and we rearrange this to find what dx so dx is equal dA over 2x So looking at this original integral, here we have the integral of x cubed e to x square is equal integral x times x square e x square respect to x. So x times you replace x square with a. So x times a, e x square replace with a. So e to the a. The x you can replace with the a over 2x so you can cancel out the x and now go into the substitution in some this value so you have one, 1 over 2 being outside the integral This is the formula of integral by parts. So half integral a e power of a dA is equal with 1 over 2 integral u dV. So so from the it, this integral, now the substitution I'm going to make is to say let u equal a du over d a to one d v over d a is equal to e power of a v equal e power of a. So, 1 over 2 integral, oh I'm so sorry, 
integral u dv is equal 1 over 2 times v u v minus integral v du. So you just put the the value. You just fill the value in formula. So you can get 1 over 2 a e power of a minus 1 over 2 integral e power of a dA. So we just replace a with x squared. So 1 over 2 square e the power of x square minus 1 over 2 e power of x square plus c okay